Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Willie March's channel. And in today's video, I wanted to announce to you what I'm going to be in my next job. I know we've been waiting about that and um, I'm excited to share it with you. So here it is. I'm gonna be a realtor <laughs> there I I decided to be a realtor for a while but I really procrastinated and this year I just did it and finish it so I wanted to share to you all of that my experience and all of my future experiences as a realtor so sit back and relax but before I share to you my day-to-day <laughs> Make sure you hit uh, subscribe and make sure you hit that follow button and that bell notification to notify you with my next video. So today I am actually just vlogging my day with my husband since I don't have my 9 to 5 job anymore. So I have a set schedule or I don't have a set schedule. <laughs> right? Yep. We're one of those. So I actually thought about um, just having a a week off, but I can't wait for to start. I haven't signed up with a broker yet, but um, I will share that to you as well and how to pick a the right broker. But for now, I'm gonna be a digital entrepreneur. I'm thinking of uh, making ways of having passive incomes while getting um or jumping into the real estate world because i wanted to make sure i have a passive income because there's no income yet on the real estate industry for at least three to six months but depending on the broker that i'm going to sign up for i hope that i will get leads and customers right away so in the following video that I'm going to have, I will talk to you about on how to become a realtor. So make sure you stay tuned on that. If you're interested, I will also put the link or the description below on where I took my real estate class and it really helped me a lot. So make sure you hit that bell notification to notify you that I will be posting videos and I will be posting videos a lot more because like I said, I don't have my 9 to 5 job anymore. Stay tuned. So the reason why we're going to Lowe's today is we are um, going to buy a some type of insecticides for our plants. So I planted, this is our new garden. Um, I planted some corn. So those are corns. Well, the pineapple has been there. My husband's pepper that's dying. <laughs> okras, which I planted some more okras here and I decided to plant more on this side. And then pepper. So those are peppers. And then some more corns. And those little things that is sprouting, those are carrots. So we're going to um, try to find some insecticides. And then, uh, this, well, because something's really eating this corn up. It is crazy because of, I think this is the, they call it caterpillar uh, core or something, whatever. What? Daddy will be back. <laughs> He'll be back, boy. We're going to those all together, so don't worry, okay? We're just finishing breakfast, okay? Okay, boy. <laughs> Put your collar on, boy. Scooby. Come, Scooby. Come here. Come here. Come on. Sit down. Scooby, put your collar on. Because he was so excited before you even came in. I'm going to Lowe's. Mm hmm. Mm. All right. Let's go. Come on. Load up. 
I, hang on just a second. We wait for daddy. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We wait for daddy. Hold on. All right. Okay, come on up. All right. Hi, <laughs> gosh. Scooby. Sit. 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 Hey, I'll take you to sit. Sit down. He loves to go to Lowe's. My goodness gracious. We're here. Go pee. Spider mites. <laughs> okay, we don't know what we're gonna get to ask somebody. Oh, there you go, caterpillar, bun eyed. I think this is it. Doesn't mean you need the seven though. Huh? It doesn't mean that you need the seven. You always just say seven. Yeah, but that works. Uh, and not for for the corn. Works for everything. Kills over 500 insects. Okay, well, is it showing the. Kills over 500 different things. Okay. 500 listed pests. Does it show Fruits, on the corn? Vegetables, gardens, ornamentals, flowers, gardens, lawns, around home. <coughs> but, does it kill for the corn? Um, it kills 500 things. <laughs> That's you know? it, corns. This is why. Why it's gonna be. Orange is crazy. Mm hmm. I don't want to just buy something and not make sure to click. Go look on your phone. I didn't have my phone with me. <laughs> look at that. That's, that's that, you, you spread what one time and it was done. Go to Google and ask if um. It does everything. It's, it's the same bugs. It's the same bugs. It kills everything. <laughs> Will it kill Scooby? <laughs> Probably. Let's find out. How are you going to find out? Go online. Then. Go online. Why don't you just do it? Well, you don't Why know. are you being doing? Why are you, you being that Because you don't know what kind of bugs is on there. No, let's, you just call. You said Google can seven kill the what? The worm. I don't know. What, I, don't, I haven't seen any worms. Just know what I see the worms. caterpillar. Yeah, I haven't seen a caterpillar. Oh my god. Have you seen any caterpillars on there? Just the seven insecticide kill the insect in the corn leaves. Applications with corn eradicates the following corn worms, corn earworms, corn. Okay, there you go. See, it does kill it. So let's find, let's buy it. So how do you, how do you mix it? Do you mix this and spray it? Why don't we just buy this one? It's 19 bucks. It's already mixed in. It gives you a lot more. This okay. gives you a lot more. This, what's this? How to mix four ounces per gallon. So four ounces per okay. gallon, this will go a lot further. All right, let's do that then. Here are our herbs, and we got some basil, sage, thyme, um, oregano, and 
some mint. So we're gonna go back there and find some cilantro. Getting some more soil, because I am using our wheelbarrow to plant our herbs. So I can't, can't wait to, to do that and show it to you guys. So, Like right there by the p pineapple. I think that's that's good enough. One? They don't go very far, Mark. Okay, just get more, one more. We did uh, we didn't spend that much. Seventy-six dollars. Seventy-two. So, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, God. All right, so we're back home, and um, I think this is—I mean, not—I think this is the wheelbarrow that I am going to plant our herbs and you know because it's broken you know we can't really use that anymore uh, it's cracked so we're gonna lay uh, cut off boxes here and then this space here we're also gonna plant some herbs and um, yeah we have plenty of space all the way get out of there get yeah he did that last time I wonder if I should plant the watermelon over there is that water getting watered? Okay. Because that, that's, that's not enough space for watermelon. Okay. Because watermelon's going to grow all Scroll up. Okay. That's fine. See what happened here? Look. Oh, he, somebody... He broke. stepped on it. Oh, no, somebody scratched it here. It's Scooby. He was scratching though. I don't know. Scooby. <sighs> and, oh, and we have aloe vera that we can... I saw it in gardening that's what happened let me get some aloe vera plants yeah, broken, no no so i saw this trick last night on facebook that when you have a a stem that cut off let me uh just show you real quick yeah there you go can you see it see how it 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 broke so they put two aloe vera side to side. So we're gonna cut the aloe vera right here. And then they cut it right in the middle. And they just use toothpick. So we're gonna use this and put it right beside. Got a toothpick here with me. Oh. right there yes can you see <laughs> hang on now my hand smells like um body odor yeah so we'll just leave this here you see what i did anyway we have mango trees and we have sugar apple right there and I cut it to where it just looks like it's bald now. But anyway. Anyway. So we have three mango trees and we have one sugar apple. So I'm trying to help you. Alright, so I think we got all our plants out of the truck. Let's get some more here. Oh, we have one more. Okay, so what I'm planning to do is to put the ones that looks like a bush and then put the vine looking on the ground or maybe I'll use that so I don't know yet but on the bottom and not just drain down So, my husband did put 
the cut off cardboards. Now we're going to put the top soil. Boy, we're going to have some good gardens here. Make sure I water it, right? Yeah. Do you like how I leveled it? Yeah. Mm hmm. Build it real well. Quick. All right. You want to leave some for your watermelon? Yeah. Yeah? yeah I don't know what to do. Okay. Minutes. Our sprinkler here, guys, we connect it from our irrigation system. That way, it grabs the water from the lake. Because when we use our city water, our bill is like $20 more, which is like 70 something to, it went up to like $90. So that's not good. So at least the lake water is actually better for the plants because there's no chlorine added to it. It's just pretty much rainwater and whatever that's in the lake. Lake water. So it could be alligator pee, poop, turtle pee, poop. <laughs> Those kinds. Which is good. All right, so let's start planning. flower in here but what are we gonna do with pretty roses and flowers we can't eat them 12 or 16 inches apart so they have room to grow so we'll have we have chocolate mint and we have oregano and we have thyme we already have rosemary growing right there so my husband requested to make the famous pork and lamb paste for our ribs. So let's get some of the famous rosemary right here. So we're just going to cut uh, what, like three. Okay, so we got our rosemary cut. And let me just show you real quick how this paste is done. So I'll set this down and just show you what I am going to do for that. So, okay guys, so I went ahead and got everything ready that we're gonna need to make that paste. So let me see, I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, there you go. So we got our garlic, our rosemary, we have our thyme, we have our Dijon mustard, and we have our extra virgin olive oil. So what we're gonna do is actually, we're just gonna mix it all in this little um, chopper that I have. So we'll put it, go ahead and put our garlic in, and then the rosemary, of course. Um, it's kinda hard to take out the very top, but it's still soft, so it'll grind down. guys mm, so while um waiting like gonna to support but while I'm waiting I'm gonna go ahead and turn the oven on so it's just gonna uh, get ready all right so let's turn the oven into bake 
at 350 degrees. So um, we're gonna preheat the oven. All right, now let's get the pork in the fridge. Let's open it up. So what I marinated the pork with, I put lemon, vinegar, fresh garlic, coke, salt and pepper, and whatever seasoning that you guys want. Uh, I put paprika, sage, um, this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's a mix of chives, chili, paprika, and garlic. Okay, so we got our rental trap ready. Uh, nilagyan ko na rin ng rental trap yung ilalim para hindi siya... Uh, you don't have to wash. <laughs> Katamaran talaga yun. Know? Alright, lunch is getting ready and I think I'm going to end the vlog now. Uh, I just wanted to show you my first day of being jobless until I signed up with a brokerage firm. And um, I'll show you some more videos and thank you again for watching until we see you again. Bye. I brush it with this bacon grease that's been sitting there. <laughs> Good.